Well, Chef, the big differentiator, of course, for the J&J &J vaccine is that it's just one shot and you're done. But can you get the same level of protection with just one dose? Well, the numbers for the J&J &J vaccine were lower overall than for Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines. 66% efficacy in preventing moderate to severe COVID-19 globally. But a big reason for that is that J&J &J ran this trial across three continents, including in South Africa, where the troublesome B1351 strain of the virus caused a surge in cases. Efficacy there was 57 percent. But against severe disease, which puts people in the hospital with COVID, the vaccine protected with 85 percent efficacy across all regions. Now, J&J's chief scientific officer, Dr. Paul Stoffels, notes the previous vaccine trials were run months ago under much different circumstances. We are in a totally different time at the moment with variants and, and huge transmission. And the real world evidence we have generated in the world with, with the data I just talked to you about with the high protection is, in, is, is, is very significant for public health. Now, in addition to being just one shot, the J&J &J vaccine can be stored for at least three months in the fridge, which makes it simpler to distribute than the two-dose Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, which, of course, have to be kept frozen. Now, the United States has ordered 100 million doses from J&J, &J, which the company plans to deliver by June, Shep. Meg, you've been reporting on a push by Moderna to get more vaccine out, and I understand there's a little breaking news here. That's right. Tonight, I've learned that Moderna has asked the FDA to allow it to put more vaccine in each of its vials, 15 doses instead of 10, in order to alleviate a bottleneck in the manufacturing process. Now, it's not that the vials themselves that are in short, short supply. It's the so-called fill-finish manufacturing capacity. This is according to a person familiar with the plans. And, Shep, we're already seeing companies partnering to do this work. Swiss drug giant Novartis today agreed to fill vials for BioNTech, who is of course, Pfizer's partner. So anything getting done to speed up supply. Shep. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.